In this video we're going to run through a quick overview of all the different elements of the cable calculator uh, which you're used to your cable calculations in cable calc. Uh, on the supply details tab we've got all the uh, information for the source of your supply uh, as well as the type of circuit you want to calculate, your load and distance data. Uh, on the next tab along we've got cable selection where you can select your cable. Uh, there's a, uh, a lot of different options here, uh, fire resistant cables, uh, steel wire armoured singles, twin and earth, uh, as well as a range of uh, flexible cables including uh, all the CY, SY, YY uh, and tri-rated singles uh, as well as many more. Uh, you select the uh, size of the cable, how many cores uh, and your installation method. Uh, we've also got the correction factors tab which allows you to select any uh, relevant factors for, for cable grouping, uh, temperature correction for ambient temperature, uh, soil resistivity, depth of laying for a buried cable. Uh, we've also got uh, when you select your installation method for uh, tray or ladder it will give you the uh, relevant uh, grouping options there, uh, you know, number of trays, number of ladders etc. Uh, moving on to protective device, uh, we've got a full range of uh, generic data within the program, MCBs, MCCBs, uh, RCDs, RCBOs, cartridge fuses, etc. as well as a range of manufacturer specific uh, that you can select from in level 3 and above uh, and they include energy let through data where it's available as well as user defined protective devices that you can add to the program yourself uh, if you've got the data from the manufacturer. Uh, moving on to the CPC tab you can select the circuit protective conductor uh, it gives you the minimum size required by the adiabatic equation uh, you can select whether you want to use the cable sheath or armour where available, separate cable, uh, all the different options available there for, uh, for adding an additional CPC into the circuit. I've also got the time tab which shows you the fault current data, uh, allowing you to check that uh, your, uh, your fault current meets the uh, curve in the right place for the, for the currently selected breaker. At the top of the screen we've got the calculations check section uh, which shows you all the different checks that are being performed on the calculation to make sure that it's passing. Uh, if you click on diagram you also get a, di a breakdown of the, uh, the different sections of your calculation, your details at the source, your breaker, your cable and your load. Uh, when you're done with your calculation you evaluate it, get a big pass, that's all good, uh, and then you would go to view report, create a PDF for the circuit uh, and you'll get a detailed printout with all your relevant calculation data on it. 